drop the green. Dale Earnhardt is one of the lap cars out at the apron of the racetrack. He sets sail, but Elliott gets her wound up now. Mark Martin locks on to him. Davey Allison latches onto the draft, and they haul it off into turn one. So the leaders line up on the outside lane, taking it high, going into turn number one. Elliott is there. Mark Martin now gets by the Earnhardt car, as does Davey Allison. Kind of a traffic jam behind them as Phil Parsons and Alan Kowicki go side by side. They, too, try to get by Dale Earnhardt on turn two. Little contact between Kowicki and Parsons as they try and squeeze three wide off the corner, but everybody gets it sorted out. That's allowed the front three to get. Oh, trouble on the back straightaway. One car on its roof. Lake speed over two, three times. Three more cars piling in. Dave Marcus involved. Jimmy Spencer involved. Derek Cope involved. Four, five more cars spinning, crashing. Jeff Bodine involved. Hutt Strickland, Jimmy Spencer. Nine, ten cars involved in a wild crash on the back straightaway. A third of the field has been involved with contact in the middle of the back straightaway on this restart as they came out of turn number two as Harold Kinder frantically waves at the leader, Bill Elliott, and Mark Martin at the rest of the field to slow it down before you get back in that area as they head off to turn number one. Let's go back to Alan Bestwick. Boy, a wild scene, Barney, as the cars came down the back straightaway, racing close in traffic. Lake Speed obviously got tapped. He got side Ways, and the car immediately turned right over on its roof, flipped over twice. He was hit while he was upside down by the Dave Marcus car. About seven or eight cars behind that, all crashing into each other, trying to avoid it. Right now, the safety workers already at Speed's car, already at Marcus's car. Those two remaining on the backstretch. The rest of the crashed cars, including Jimmy Spencer and Derek Cope, have slid to a halt all the way over in three. And another five or six cars damaged have moved back around to the pit area. But right now, the most seriously damaged cars, Lake Speed, and Dave Marcus uh, on the infield grass at the end of the back straightaway. The safety workers are there. Jeff Bodine is on pit road. Let's go to Dick Brooks. Well, he's here, but he didn't bring much with him. Most of it skin up or bent up or tore up, but uh, the thing's still running, and it looks like possibly they can get some tires on the car. They get the car up in the air. They get some tires on it. Uh, they may be able to go out and come back and uh, straighten out a little sheet metal. He may not lose too awful much time. The car doesn't look like it took any hard licks. It just took a bunch of them. Lake Speed's car, again, in that crash in the middle of the back straightaway, flips at least a couple of times, and half the field was running directly behind him, had nowhere to go. There is contact among six or seven cars in the initial uh, crash over there. Then the remainder of the field come flying by. Ernie Urban got a piece of that action over there. So did Jeff Bodine. So did Dave Marcus. And again, for an update, let's go over to Joe Moore and see what he saw. Down the end of the back straightaway, Barney. Jimmy Spencer is out of his car. Derek Cope is okay. Dave Marcus is in his car, but he's okay. He gave us a thumbs-up signal. The rescue workers are concentrated around the Lake Speed automobile, though. He is still in the car. The rescue workers are there working with Lake. Now, as a matter of fact, as we look, Lake is coming out of the car. He is standing up. He's talking to the rescue workers and, in fact, walking to the ambulance. Good news for Lake Speed. He took a wild ride. Well, that is certainly good news. His car did flip a couple of times, but comes to a conclusion. Others really have to go to the grass to avoid to the inside. A couple of cars made contact. A couple spun to the outside retaining wall. And again, once you get onto the grass, the car really will begin to spin around on you. One man who got through it all was Rusty Wallace. He had been running near the uh, back of that lead pack, and he just picked his way through the problems on the back straightaway. He brings his machine now towards pit road. Lake Speed has walked unassisted to the ambulance. He'll be brought around to the infield care center for the mandatory check over there. But well, that certainly is good news because he took pretty good lick. And the cars that will get through and won't change the running order that much up among the top seven or eight positions. Bill Elliott will, re will, will, will retain the lead. Mark Martin will end up in second position. Davey Allison is still third. Phil Parsons fourth. Alan Kowicki fifth. Morgan Shepard sixth. Seventh looks like Sterling Marlin. The eighth should be Darrell Walter. A multi-car accident in the middle of the backstretch has eliminated at least five drivers out of the field. Dave Marcus, Lake Speed, Ernie Irvin, Jimmy Spencer, and Derek Cope. And we'll update you a little further in just a moment. From the Daytona International Speedway, this is MRN Radio.